Box Event Center and Box Elder. Check out the box.live for complete event listings and more. This is Black Hills Fox Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Welcome back. Think about this. It's Friday night and you show up to a high school basketball game. The doors are unlocked, the lights are on, the bleachers are out, and the aisles are clean. The game ends, you go home. When you wake up the next day, you go back to the same high school, the same gym, and it all looks the exact same. Now, it's not a magic routine. It's late nights and early mornings, all for the love of the game. The stuff we do happens and nobody really sees what we do. Thanks to team lead Brian Fiedler and the rest of the Stevens custodial crew, higher gymnasium is ready for action every time the Raiders hit the hardwood. We'll get the, the bench chairs set up, we'll pull out the score table, set that all up, get the bleachers out, and then there's some kind of staging behind where they run the computers off of. We set all that up. Want to give it a little space and, and then after a full day's work, it's retracing each step. The reverse order, put everything away, blow all the popcorn down with the blowers and sweep it up and scrub the floors. By this time, it's 11.30 p.m. or later. Brian was one of the first guys that I had to really win him over because he makes this place run. I mean, we could not do it without him and Tim and our whole staff in general. Fiedler is a 20-year vet and alongside him is an experienced team, each member playing an important role. But if there's one thing they wish you at home knew, it's that you play an important role too. Just the extra time it takes when people just don't at least pick up a little bit of, of what they leave for a mess. Before I did this job, I was one of those people at the movie theater. I'd just leave my garbage on the floor, and then after doing this job, you see, like, yeah, if everybody does that, that's a nightmare. Next time you are out at a game, whether it's at Stevens High or not, make sure you let Brian and others know what they mean to you. A fair amount of people actually do actually thank us kids and parents, so it feels good to be appreciated. Well, the basketball regular season ended on Saturday. There'll be one more game played at Higher Gymnasium this year. The Stevens girls are set to host Central next Friday in the Sodex 16 for a chance at the state tournament. This leaves you with one more chance to tell the Raiders custodians, thank you. To the scoreboard, the Sabres are one spot back from playoff contention in the Frontier Division. They helped their chances today with a 3-2 shutout win versus the Great Falls Americans. The Rush. Also victorious, a very much needed win for Rapid City as well. Five to three against the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. This snaps an eight game losing streak. As I mentioned, the Sabres are just one spot removed from the playoffs at the current moment. They have a pair of games still to play next Friday and Saturday against the Gillette Wild. As you can see on your screen, the Wild are in second place in the Frontier Division. The Sabres are down there in fifth. Helena, 42 and two to lead the way. Gillette, Bozeman, and Great Falls in second through fourth. Continuing on with hockey, the Brookings boys finished first in the South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association standings, followed by Rapid City's own Rushmore Thunder. And finally tonight, in the world of Major League Baseball, the Rocky Spring, Rock, Colorado Rockies spring training has kicked off from Scottsdale, Arizona. The Rockies got a 10-3 win today versus the Brewers and the Dodgers, and they host the Dodgers tomorrow afternoon.